here is bread but with beetroot and carrots. Now I need to make the point very clear before we go any further and that's the following. I normally don't eat bread so anything I say about bread is pretty uh, pointless really because I don't really have much to compare it to so I'm not an expert you may as well just talk to the dog but the dog is asleep so we won't wake her up now I bought this this morning at Lidl or as they call themselves Lidl in uh, Poland in um, now at a place called Muava and this cost uh, eight well eight fifty a kilo it's what it that is so it's about two euros a kilo approximately uh, slightly less than that and this is 400 grams so it cost me 329 i think it was about 80 cents and uh, it is an unusual product that's why i bought it and i thought that's just the sort of thing that people might want to uh, see now it looks very red on the outside which is what attracted me to it but I'm not expecting it to be very red on the inside. But anyway, now I've introduced the product, let's see what it tastes like. So I've now cut into it, and as you can see, it is pretty red, and you can see also from the beetroot, we've got bits of beetroot in there, and we've got bits of um, carrot as well, I think. It certainly looks like a bit of carrot to me and the color uh, indicates that there's far more carrot in this than I was actually expecting so so far so good so now for the taste test what does it taste like It's a bit like the fruit loaf, in the UK it was called Saurian. Can't think of a similar product in another country, but it's similar taste to that. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's got a far thicker consistency than you normally expect from bread. And if I'd done my homework correctly, I'd be able to tell you what type of wheat uh, it was made from. However, I wasn't taking notes when I bought it. And uh, from the taste, I, I can't tell. Bread's not my specialist subject, as I mentioned earlier. Pretty nice. I'll try it now with butter. Got some butter on it. Let's give this a go. I think I put too much butter on. Now it's it's really good. This I normally, on the very rare occasions, I buy bread. Um, for example, uh, Lidl does a um, sort of this Italian bread and I, I, can, I can get that and I eat it with oil but, but for me to put butter on bread is highly unusual it's unusual I have bread anyway so I mean people give it to me at times you know when I go to someone's place or something but I don't buy it um, that's very good. what would make it even better would, would be if it were toasted I think but of course I don't have a toaster and that can only be, uh, I can bake it, but that's going to take ages to get it. And so, um, and, and in the heat, 28 degrees today, so I don't really want to start baking anything. But, superb. Let's try it with some jam. Now, yesterday, when I was cleaning my van out, I found some bitter cherry jam 
uh, I got probably from some campsite in Germany. In fact, I remember the campsite I got it from. It was, uh, it, it, well, it was about a year and a half ago now. Uh, now, the thing about jam, by the way, it says best before. Uh, by law, it has to have a two year uh, um, date on it from, from date of production. But I mean, if you eat it 20 years later, it probably doesn't make any difference. Only that the consistency and maybe the color changes a bit or something like that. Anyway, minor point there. There you are. So I put this uh, cherry sour cherry jam on the bread. Let's give this a go. Yes, actually that works. I thought I was going to have to say I shouldn't have put it on. But um, it works really well. Now I need to point another thing out. I told you I don't eat bread as a rule. I don't eat jam as a rule either. These are both health things, these are things that are related to my diet and I'm um, not celiac or anything like that but um, I try not to eat um, bread for, um, for, for um, I'm not going good gluten free or anything but but I just don't think it's uh, good for you. Jam I don't eat because it's got added sugar in it. So um, but 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 <laughs> um, I don't buy, sorry if somebody gives it to me I'll eat it. I'm not that I'm not that fussy, but that is really really nice. I suppose I better try it now with some cheese. First cheese I'm trying out is this one here. It comes from Poland, uh, Boston. Uh, I can't give you the price. I can't remember what it was. Uh, about fifteen to twenty euros a kilo, something like that. It's uh, relatively. Uh, um, relatively much slightly mature I think it's six months old anyway we'll give this a go with this mm, right now um, to my taste that doesn't work no I'm not gonna eat the cheese with the bread that one's com that one's coming off. Right, I've got another one here, which I'll show you. This thing comes from um, Switzerland. I've got a 50% off at Lidl because it has to be eaten. Uh, this is just my type of cheese. Um, I really like um, Alpine cheeses, uh, northern Italy, or all over Italy, in fact. Sometimes from Switzerland, um, or even southern Germany or Austria. That's my favourite type of cheese. Um, let's give that one a go. This is Ohnbacher Kronbach Käse. Give this a try. Mm. The taste is not quite as nutty as the first one, the Boston, the Polish one. I think this one works a bit better, although as I'm more of um, a cheese snob, I don't think I'll be eating this with the bread, but it's very nice. Right, I'm now going to get on with my food. I am. I normally don't eat, um, now it's about midday. But I normally don't eat it until late in the evening anyway. But I might make this my one meal of the day. The trouble is this is when I eat during the day and it's hot, I want to go to sleep during the day. And uh, if, no matter how much uh, coffee I drink, I, I drink really uh, strong coffee. I fill up the pot uh, with uh, espresso and I'll drink, I'll drink a lot. Um, one shouldn't really drink too much caffeine. But I think that's still within the, uh, the bounds of being okay. Uh, anyway, um, so I hope we don't get too tired and I shall finish off eating and I hopefully I can make that my last meal of the day. Thanks for watching, I'll do more local food stuff as and when I see it.